Welcome to Sailing Britikin. I'm Simon, this is my wife Kim, and we help people become more confident sailing cruisers. Since our last update, which was quite a while ago actually, yeah. maybe like a month or so ago, um, we've been extremely busy. We have done three back-to-back Britikin experiences where we've had families come out for a week so they can experience the sailing cruising lifestyle. On top of that, we got some new Raymarine equipment and we had to prepare our boat to take it from the Caribbean up to America. And I've been working on a safety course that's almost done. Yeah. I've been threatening to launch it for like a year and I'm finally there, almost there. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> and additionally, we have some big changes. Our daughter wants to go to school. She wants to live on land. She wants air conditioning. She wants carpet and she wants to be a normal kid. So we've made arrangements for her to go to middle school. So Sienna is 12 now. Me and Simon are trying to figure out how she can experience land life and we can still keep like one foot in the, the, boating, life. the boating life. Yes. So let's rewind a bit. Let's tell you a little bit about the people that came out to visit us because all of our Britican experienced guests come out to experience the cruising lifestyle to see if it's for them and if they should pursue their dream. So our first guests were Dean, Trish and Ruby. We just had a great time with them, didn't we? Yep, they came from Portland, Oregon. It was a great time for them to be with us because it was nice temperature and they were escaping some more, you Cold. know, colder yeah. temperatures. So it's always nice when people come from a colder climate. We did have a dramatic uh, incident with them, didn't we? Yes. Uh, we were in one of the bays that we normally go into and there was this huge uh, mega yacht in there called Flag, which was Tommy Hilfiger's, and he was actually on the boat. And he was, he was anchored quite a way into the mooring field, which is okay where the wind's predominantly in the same direction, which they generally are 99 times out of 10 in the Caribbean. But there was this one day the wind just died. Suddenly we're having breakfast and I'm going, right, get the fenders out. And we all ran to the front of the boat and fended off them. Tommy Hill's figure boat, because his stern came and uh, came in contact with our, with our bow. It wasn't a problem. They had their crew on there. We had we did our bit yeah. and uh, it was it was all easy going. We were chatting away. There was no shouting or anything no. like that. In fact, I think Tommy Hilfiger said, are you, are you gonna join us for breakfast? Yeah, something <laughs> like that, yeah. It was just easy for us. We just left the mooring and went to another mooring point. You know, technically he should have, he should have left. Well, technically they shouldn't have been yeah, anchored yeah. in a mooring field, but you know, it is what it is oh, and just, yeah. Just get on and get on. Uh, yeah. Just be nice to everybody. It's as best as possible. And it was a great learning experience for our guests because um, one of the like major number one rules in boating is if your boat's going to collide with something else, you always stick a fender between your boat and whatever it's going to hit. Now that could be a dock, it could be controlled, um, but if it's another boat coming on to you, trying to push it off will, won't work. You'll break your arms sometimes yeah. before you'll be able to push it. And later that day we got We've some... Got a beautiful bottle of champagne from the Tommy Hilfiger, so thanks Tommy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Our next guests that joined us were Greg, Lisa and Emma, and they came all the way from Saskatchewan. It's um, easy for you to say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, have to, I had to look up exactly where it was because it's in Canada, like kind of in the middle. Well, up, up north. Up in the, yeah, way north. And these guys are from South Africa originally, but they are bison farmers. And, what? Uh, bison? What's bison? Is that how you say it in America? Well, how do you say it? Bison. 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 Is <laughs> that English right, American so, language? So, no, it's. Everyone tells me that. I pronounce things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're bison farmers. We learned a lot about farming and the, you know, just all sorts um, about, you know, agriculture, and it was very yeah. interesting, very enlightening for us. Um, but these guys, they want to trade in the farming for a life at sea, so they came out to see, you know, is it something that they all want to do? Yeah, and um, Lisa wasn't sure, was she? And yeah. she uh, kept things quite close to her chest and. She said, I'm going to go back to Canada for a couple of weeks. And after about about 10 days, we got an email saying, yep, they're going for it. And they're now actively looking for a boat. So, yeah. great yeah. news. Yeah, that's really good news. Yeah, so exciting to see them. They'll be, I'm sure, on the water very soon. 
And the last people that we had um, before we started preparing to come north was Sean, Kirsten, and Caroline. And these guys came from uh, South Carolina, which is the state right below where we are right now. We're in North Carolina recording this right now. And these guys were so much fun. They are both, mom and dad are nurses, and Sean's a helicopter mechanic. Very interesting. These guys, you know, when there's um, a situation where a helicopter has to go get somebody that um, is unwell, a car accident, or transferring someone from a different hospital, these are the guys that make it happen. Yeah. We are so fortunate that we get to, you know, have different people come to the boat. You know, they're coming to us to find out about sailing, and we find out about, about their, their lives. Yeah, and, everything. yeah, and, and it's it, fascinating. And he was ex-military, so yeah. we had some more stories uh, to talk about, so yeah. it was great fun. And those guys, uh, Sean, he definitely wants to do the, the cruising life. I think Kirsten, I think she enjoyed it. She did, yeah. yeah. And I just think that they have the, the chill, they have another daughter too, so I think the timing might not be right for them yet, but I think, you know, in the future there's definitely sailing. Yes, I'm sure, I'm of, sure it. of it. Regarding uh, boat jobs, there's one big one I wanted to get done before I left. It was a new radar. We had an old radar that was probably about 10 years old. It gave us some insight into the weather, but this new one just blows that one out of the water. On our trip from the Caribbean up to the United States, lead woke me up and there was two squalls really close to each other. And with this, we could find out which direction it was going, and we actually sailed around it. With the old radar, we'd have got, we're going to get wet in about 10 minutes and just carry on sailing, which the, the system is brilliant. In the next video, you should be able to see a bit more into that. Are you sure there's something in the next video about it? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. So talking about our trip north, um, Kim and I were doing the pre preparations. I was doing loads of cooking. Kim was doing all sorts of different stuff, preparing the boat and then just waiting for the guys to come out and then when we got them all out me and the guys then just finished off getting the boat ready this is our last sail together um together in saint martin mm, yeah it's we've been here what four years four years in the caribbean and like three seasons here mm. we just love it here don't yeah. we yeah and it's been brilliant through covid because people could get here people could get here and uh just been fantastic yeah we absolutely love st martin and the tagline for this island is the friendly island yeah the friendly island and it can't be more true no brilliant. if you're gonna pick a place to come in the caribbean put st martin on your list because it truly is fantastic st martin thank you for having us yeah thank you and we'll be back it was really difficult because not only were we leaving st martin and we were preparing for people to join the boat my daughter and I were going to fly up to America and wait for the guys to come up. And also, big transition, uh, we're putting Sienna in school. So it was very stressful and emotional. You know, everything we did, this is the last time we'll go to that bar. This is the last time we'll go to that restaurant. I don't think so. Well, we would say, you know, we'll be back. This is the last time we'll be here for a while. Yeah. I just felt extremely stressed and I get quite a few emails of people telling me how strong I am and I you know I I don't think on video I express how often I get stressed out <laughs> but so much going on I'm thankful that Simon and the crew took the boat up because I felt like that would have been like more of a stress I guess yeah. so me and Sienna flew up here to where we are now North Carolina and it's just, it's been really hard. I know that we're making the right decision, and I know that things are going to go well for, for Sienna, and I know they're going to go well for us. Yeah. But the uncertainty is really, I think that's what's really causing my anxiety. We're going to have one foot in land, and then we're going to help try and do one foot back on the boat. Our plan is that we didn't get all the way to Rhode Island, but you'll find <laughs> out that in a, in a video, maybe not the next one, but the one after that, what happened. It, it, it's, it's, a good, it's going to be a good watch. So I'm moving the boat again on Thursday. I've just looked at the weather this morning. It's look, looking good to go up to Hampton Row in Virginia. We're going to put the boat there for a while. Then we're going to put the boat out on the hod and I'm going to do some work on it. Around November time, maybe December, is the, I'm going to sail back down to, from North America down to Bermuda, Bermuda down to St. Martin because 
you've only got about a four day weather window with this with the with the storms northeast storms and everything like that and then i'm going to be have, i'll have the boat we're going to have the boat back in the caribbean where we are going to do brisket experiences where it might be just me and then hopefully kim could come out for a week or maybe two weeks and do some brilliant experiences also i'm thinking about doing lads ones all lads ones because we just had them ball coming up here it was fun my immediate plans are to get the boat safety course and manual uh up and running it's really taken me a long time i think the next course i do will be much quicker a lot of learning curves yes. but i'm excited about that and that's coming up and it's kind of keeping me sane because i'm editing video of you know us on the boat and stuff so even though i'm on land i'm still you know involved with yeah do i not keep you sane or do i make you insane you haven't been around so, you've oh. been sailing the boat up here <laughs> okay well uh thanks for watching yeah. and uh, see you soon yeah. take care bye, bye.